So I just wanted to do a video of the state of our game room. We're about 80% done now. Um, you have to excuse the light in the middle of the room. This room is set up for ideal darkness uh, for those uh, gaming sessions. Um, so I'm trying to get some extra light in here, so that is not normally there. But here we, here we have is as you enter, you see the front wall there. Do a kind of a panorama to take it all kind of in and then get into kind of the, the detail of each side of the room. So here's the right side of the room, working back towards the couch and back door. And the left side. And so for the detail, obviously the most important part of any gaming setup is the TV. Rocking a 73 inch uh, DLP Mitsubishi TV here. Um, this will be replaced in about a year or two uh, with a projector for the back wall. But for right now, it uh, works very well. Um, I also got the 5.1 surround sound. Um, the company the speaker company we went through is Aperion, which is not a well-known name, but uh, very critically acclaimed. And if you're looking for a, a sound system, um, I would highly recommend them. Obviously, got the consoles themselves. We got the PS3, Xbox, and the Wii. We got a P still got a PS2. Uh, back there. Um, the Wii U is missing and will be until a Zelda is released. And we got the TVs being guarded by Master Chief and Cortana. Consoles obviously aren't worth anything without software. Uh, so over here we got the games. Uh, we got a little Skyrim background back there which came from the Collector's Edition box. Um, Alduin, uh, Pit Boy from Fallout, and we got Connor from the latest Assassin's Creed which I pulled the, the game case here. Top two shelves dedicated to my platform of choice, which is the Xbox. So we have 92 Xbox games, 13 PS3, and 11 Wii games. Uh, and the bottom shelf is four uh, prior generation, all being held by, I don't know if it'll show up with the light very well, um, but we got the portal book stands. Um, just a nice little, little little touch for uh, holding the games here. Off to the left we got a map here from Red Dead Redemption, uh, the Old West, and we got a little bit of Borderlands here. Moving off to the left we have the Renegade symbol from Mass Effect from uh, TV. I'm sure you can tell what my favorite gaming franchise is. Um, and on the Renegade side we have the piece of non-gaming uh, memorabilia here with uh, Darth Vader lightsaber, which lights up, which I'll put on later. Uh, above the Renegade symbol, we got some hand-painted um, artwork that my wife did. Which goes all the way to the other side of the room. Some of our favorite characters and logos. And so on the opposite side, you know, we got the Paragon symbol, which is how always, always how we play. We always play good. And we got the Obi-Wan lightsaber on the other side. And Master Chief and Cortana lights up. In the background there, you can see a couple uh, uh, Guitar Hero guitars, which are hiding back there in shame as we no longer play music games. So on the left side here, we also got... Um, kind of our Elder Scrolls uh, area over here. Um, my second favorite franchise. So we got the Akatosh symbol. Then we got the Vardenfell map from Morrowind, uh, Cyrodiil from Oblivion, and Skyrim from Skyrim. This frame is kind of neat. We actually made it. It's just a black frame, but then we got my wife got some uh, uh, crackly paint, which will try to make it look a little bit older. Below that we've got some trinkets, uh, we got the Dishonored Whale Oil uh, Lamp, little PS3 box, Yoshi, um, 
Assassin's Creed belt buckle from the Collector's Edition and also the uh, Black Ops 2 uh, dog tags. Um, we have all of our movies and mobile games, our handheld games, not mobile games. Um, not much of a handheld player, but we do have a few 3DS, DS, and uh, Game Boy Advance games there. To the left, we have a little area for Halo here. And the flag from Assassin's Creed 3 Collector's Edition. We got a little section for Mario, we got a 3D poster. And then uh, just a page from a magazine, um, I believe it was Game Informer. Uh, has all the some of the enemies and uh, from the Mushroom Kingdom, and then we got family photo where each of us is holding. My wife has the Xbox controller in hand, my daughter has the Wii controller, and I have the PS3. It was a battle over who would hold the Xbox controller, but I gave in. Being the the man, I always lose those battles. So that's the lower wall, and on the upper wall. We just have some posters from some of our favorite games, or game franchises, not necessarily the individual games. Uh, Fable 3, for example, was terrible, but we did like Fable 1, so. Uh, we got the Normandy up there, again. Lots of Mass Effect in this room. We got you know, Jade Empire, Bioware, obviously the Mass Effect, and uh, Dragon Age being two of our favorite games. Um, also with Jade Empire, so between Bethesda and, and Bioware, that's uh, our two favorite developers. As you enter the room, uh, you're greeted by a six-foot femme chef here. Um, gets my wife and I's favorite game and uh, character. Um, my wife does quite a few gaming videos and has her own weekly news show, which you can check out at freemmostation.com. Uh, the videos are both on the uh, the website and on YouTube. Um, and she has a YouTube uh, account, Oksana Gamer Girl, uh, which you can check out her other video game related videos. Uh, this is the fa my favorite part of the room. This is a, a hand painted mural we did um, above the couch here of the Hillian Crest. Um, I, have, I have another video posted. Um, just a minute or two on how we uh, kind of uh, uh, somewhat of a time lapse of that project. So that that was fun. Uh, over here we got um, the uh, symbol of Kirkwall from Dragon Age Two. Um, again, kind of the, the Fem Shep and the Dragon Age and the Paragon symbols and all that comes from a website called Walls360.com, um, and they have they must have a contract with EA because all your favorite EA franchises are there if you're looking for uh, kind of wall graphics, kind of like fat head type stuff. Um, they do a lot of good work. And we got kind of an area uh, dedicated to Bioshock. That all comes from the Bioshock 2 Collector's Edition. And we got a little sneaking little Assassin's Creed symbol down there. And then up above, um, not quite done yet, but just some more posters. In the final part of the room, we have our coffee table here with some Xbox coasters and some of the random art books and such for uh, for reading in between gaming sessions. Let's light up these lightsabers to see how the room looks at uh, at night with those on. This is how it looks with the lightsabers on. Uh, not sure how well it's going to come out, but. We have a little Force Unleashed 2 in the background there. And then Cortana does light up as well. That's her. Anyway, that's the game room. I'll do another video when it's finished.